happened. <laughs> Aside from fixing me all this ooey, gooey, Velveeta mac and cheese, they also took me to a lot of my earliest Catholic school sports games. Y'all know better than most of my audiences how pervasive Volvo's Catholic school sports tradition is. <laughs> generations upon generations of families sign up their kids for every sport imaginable. <laughs> and my parents are the same way. But when I was young, I knew these autistic muscles weren't getting me any trophies anytime soon. <laughs> So guess what sport I opted for? T-ball! Oh, the ball is on a tee. How hard can that be? Boy, was I about to find out. <laughs> I thought, since I had my trusty Louisville Slugger, y'all have too many of these in your attics, don't y'all? That I would hit each and every single one of them out of the park. I went up to the plate for my first attempt, took a swing, ow! <laughs> the ball got hit! But it was hit back to the pitcher. <laughs> I was so disappointed, but my coach pumped me up and told me that, Cody, you can do this. You can do this. Get back out there and try again. This one went past the pitcher. <laughs> but it was still ugh, a line drive to second. <laughs> I still had one more shot, one more chance at fame and glory. This one went <gasps> So, so close. <laughs> but just like the other two, <laughs> got caught. It was at this point in time, I told my parents and my memo, this is why I don't want to play sports anymore. I don't care about all those home runs I'm supposed to hit. I don't care about all the social skills my therapist told you all I'd learn by being on a team with teammates. <laughs> yeah, that's what therapists tell your parents. <laughs> Being too close to home for all of you. <laughs> I'm tired of embarrassing myself out on the field week after week just to please you all. <laughs> so they were like, fine, Cody, quit and play with your trains all day. As long as you still go to your brother's football games. Right. As well as your sister's basketball games. 